Hi everyone, welcome to Excel Highway. Today I want to share with you a recruiting dashboard that you can use to monitor your HR team's performance. Um, this uh, file has a few sheets, as always, and a, there's a, the information sheet and some helping sheets and a dashboard in the end where you can use to reflect all of your KPIs. Um, so let's start with the view of the different sheets. The dashboard is where you see the charts and the slicers, where you can change, you know, a certain, a certain department, a certain application source, etc., etc., and everything will change. There are four charts currently, the yearly trend showing the number of applicants, which percentage of them received an offer, and which percentage of them were hired. There's a status chart which shows you how many or basically what was the result of each one of them and you can see that there are a lot of um, a lot of um, stages basically until you hire someone so there's the CV review the HR interview the manager review etc etc and whatever you want to whatever you want to set up and this is a nice pie chart shows you um, how that uh, is uh, you know uh, spread across your applicants I've also added two charts here for the source analysis that gives you a view of where do you get the majority of your um, applicants, if they're from an agency, an online application, or if they're internal. And of course, you can decide how to set this up. And a donut chart for the decline chart, meaning uh, people that got an offer and refused, and with a reason salary, distance from home, no horizon, company culture, bad match with boss, or non-available, meaning didn't give a reason at all. So these are the four charts that I have over here. The slicers on top are the ones that help you filter out, um, you know, the dashboard so it's very easy to use. And I've got some information here, and of course you can build it however you want. And I build it for a company that's uh, building um, selling software so they have software sales and HR positions and for example if I'm looking at the sales department um, so I can see everything here changes and I can look at for example their branch in London so again everything changes and I can see I have only one decline which said there's no horizon and everything here changes you can also you know monitor a certain recruiter so let's take a look at what Steve has been doing. He's associated with the Tokyo branch and you see he works with all three departments. So this is very uh, comfortable to use. And of course you can also use the specific time. So for example, I wanna look at only 2022 and I can even change this to quarters. So I can show me Q4, 21, or show me the last three quarters. And you can even select certain months. So it's really up to you how to set this up. So this is very user friendly. And I'll show you how to build this um, in the future. But this is the end result. So you have a very nice dashboard with slicers that you can use and basically see the information. Parameters sheet. Parameters sheet is where uh, usually um, I put in information that's external to your data that you can use time and time again. Here it's simple. I only have two um, data points that I need, stage status and offer result. And I have passed and failed and I named that as a range as status. And I named this as the range offer to easily use later on. So this is all I have so far here. Application status, this is the sheet that you are supposed to maintain um, and this is what's building actually the dashboard itself. So let's look, take a look at the columns. The blue columns are the one that you need to key in information. The orange one, which you have one over here and all the way to the right, these are the ones that are calculated all automatically and you just don't need to do anything. So there's a job ID, which is basically the, uh, the job ID uh, that, that was uh, um, submitted. Then you have the applicant name and the source, you know, 
when where did it come from agency internal or online application um, the status itself it's calculated and I'll show you how there's the date when the, the CV submission was basically these are all the stages so you have the CV submission date and the result and here is where I use the past failed coming here and it's very easy all you need to do is mark this is a table this entire um, um, sheet is a table and I, I just need to mark everything and go to data validation okay home data this little number called data validation in settings you select list and key in equals status which is the range that I have set up and now every time that you have another line if I add an, a line let's say this line then it will remain so this is very helpful um, then the HR interview date okay which is the next step and whether it passed or failed and you'll notice that immediately there are um, lines that or lines that do not have a next step they could be failed or passed so they could fail or they could be passed and waiting for the interview date and you see that the status uh, changes accordingly so this is failed CV review this is past CV review and basically it's waiting for the next step so and this has remained the same there's the interview date of the HR the manager second interview offer date and for offer there's a accepted or decline again coming from here so that's the only one different from everything else and then if it if the uh, applicant declined then you need to mention why what's the reason and again this could also be a drop down list uh, really up to you it makes sense that it would be because the uh, number of reasons should be limited uh, assuming the person started so what is the start date when did they start and what is the agreed wage which is also something that you can maintain over here uh, so here on the right is all of the formulas that um, help the uh, pivot tables in the dashboard and also to uh, to understand what is the uh, the uh, um, the actual status so in order to um, calculate the status basically I have two questions if the start date is greater than zero okay then this means this person is hired otherwise I'm using index match and I'm using index to understand basically this well not index match sorry index I'm looking for this line line the headline and I want to um, uh, let's say step the number of columns the number of columns is basically the last uh, date that I have and then I'm just adding here a formula so the text will be the uh, the column name plus the uh, result okay so just to show you how this works this is a simple count a so i'm assuming all the steps need to be filled out so i'm just counting how many cells are filled out and this is what i know that this is the um, uh, the index so here it's 10 here it's four because there's only four filled out um all of these are just being used to build the pivot tables these are going to be used later on for for part two of this file so these are going to be in order to analyze um, the uh, cycle time and the lead time and all of all of the metrics that we still have uh, open here and here are information that are being pulled from the hiring status sheet which is also a table that the user needs to maintain here's where's where the user maintains basically the jobs so we have a unique job ID the the title the location the hiring manager what department job type recruitment recruiter name and job posted date and number of positions and of course you can change this you can add different parameters whatever you want um, based on your business and how you want to filter the information um, 
and this is just you know made up information of everything here and you see um, these columns then the hard column as before the orange columns are the ones that are automatic so you would see how much are hired you have a canceled meaning is this job canceled because you could not fulfill all the positions in time so you just canceled the open position that's important so this could be used for filtering so you only want to see live or you know valid positions and the other columns show you what the real status is status coming from um and you know the gap between number of positions and number of positions hired so you know if it's a yes it's cancelled if it's a no then if this number um, is equal to this number is closed if this is less then it's open the last hire date is coming from here from the application status and the time to fill positions this is also coming from here um, and sorry from uh, this is just the last hire minus the job posting date and again I'm not showing this yet this will be in part two so there are two tables that the user needs to fill out with the information and the live uh, updates application pivots is the pivot tables that are updating the uh, dashboard charts so there are four different pivot tables um, number of apps percentage of received percentage of hired basically there is it's using these columns so the number of apps is this column the, the percentage of offers is using this number and the percentage of accepted or hired is using this number out of the apps counter so that's pretty simple this is also uh, the sum of up of the uh, apps but just uh, having a status as the row here the status is sorry the row is the date okay the cv submission date so all through this file i'm looking at the submission date as the uh, key um, for the date because that's the only one that's fixed all right for this for this person and um, and uh, i also have this one which is the um, number of apps but based on decline reason okay so that's the pie chart that you saw and the donut is coming from here where you have the um, the source okay the source and the percentages and this is just a flat um, pivot table so then we have the dashboard and to build all those slicers it's very simple all you need to do is click on a pivot table click on pivot table analyze insert slicer and whatever you want like status or any other parameter that you have and if you right click on it and uh, click on report connections you can just add all the other pivot tables and that way once you click on one of this it'll change everything so I'm just going to take it out because it's not connected to the actual dashboard and this one is called the timeline it's the same uh, methodology pivot table analyze insert timeline only date columns can be used I'm using CV submission date and the same technique I'm right clicking on it report connections and this one is already set up um, so that's it you have the dashboard which is the end result slicers on top uh, charts on the bottom hiring status and application status that you need to maintain parameters and and application pivots that you don't need to touch and just to, to show you just um, if you want to add another app it's very simple you just need to key in information from here so I could have another job and I could be AAA and whatever and the source again this could also be a drop-down list and eventually you can information I don't know like this and it will automatically be updated so let me just show you so I have passed and I have a past CV review and of course it would impact everything once you click on data refresh all everything will be updated accordingly so if you enjoyed the video leave a, a comment hit that like button subscribe to the channel as I'm posting 
um, items regularly. And uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.